Hi guys, hope you are doing well. This is Shudu here. Welcome to my channel, Tech Interview Guider. So I come up to another interview experience video. This time company name is Jaspe. So stay tuned on this video. And meanwhile, don't forget to like our channel, share our channel, subscribe our channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon for all the latest updates. So we all know about Jaspe. Jaspe is a renowned product-based company who have their headquarters in Bangalore. In India, they have three offices. One is in Bangalore, one is in Chennai, another one is in Kolkata. So they recently opened their office in Kolkata Sector 5 area. So Jaspe is a leading fintech company of India. Basically, they are developing payment solution for online stores. And like uh, Jaspe's work culture, work life balance is pretty good. Salary structure also pretty nice, I will say. And apart from that, in Jaspe, you can work with different technologies. All kind of various technologies are available there. First of all, thanks for thanks Abhijit for coming to my YouTube channel. Abhijit recently got an offer from Jaspe. First of all, congratulations for that. So Abhijit, Thank could you, you introduce yourself? Yes, sure, sure. So hi guys, uh, my name is Abhijit Varman. I recently got an internship offer from Jaspe, and uh, I am I am pursuing uh, right now. I am currently I am pursuing B Tech, Bachelor of Technology from Jalpaiguri Government Government Engineering College in Computer Science and Engineering Department. So, uh, as I said earlier, right now I am interning with Jasper, and uh, uh, apart from that, I have previously interned with uh, uh, Seamless Distribution System uh, Company uh, as a uh, software engineering uh, some software engineering intern. Uh, 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 apart from this, my uh, uh, technical background, I also love to play chess and also uh, have interest in uh, reading uh, various types of books and. Also have a knack of going to traveling lot of places. Great. So yeah, that's great. Good to hear. So Abhijit, can you tell us what are the interview rounds in Jaspe? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, when I applied in Jaspe, the the uh, I I I remember I applied uh, uh, in Jaspe in June, like June or July month, probably that that time. So uh, in that time, Jaspe uh, organized a. Jaspe hiring challenge in D two C website. So I applied uh, through that website. Okay, and what are the like interview rounds there? Like, is it based on yes. algo or what kind of rounds? Can you tell us? Yes. Uh, so uh, the, the obviously the, uh, the interview rounds are gonna be like uh, they they cover questions from the uh, DS algo and also co computer science fundamental things. And mm -hmm. uh, and they 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 organize uh, the they organize couple and, and oh, I mean in D two C. Uh, uh, they organized a couple of a couple of rounds uh, for the candidates. I mean, for me, uh, uh, first I have to appear for a 30 minute co MCQ coding co MCQ round where okay. 30 questions are given to us, and we have to we have to answer the question in a given time frame. Okay. And after that, uh, and what are uh, the that, questions? Uh, Can you tell us? Like, is it based on DSL or computer fundamentals? Yes, yes, yes. They are, they are. Uh, the questions are covered like basics, for basics, fundamental DSL go and mm -hmm. o, o, DBMS and OS. Most, most questions are covered in those topics. Okay. And after that, uh, this is round round one. After that, some yeah. students are qualified for round two. Uh, one yeah. of I, I was one of those. So yeah. in round two, they ask three questions based on DSL go, and the questions are covered specifically from tree and graphs. Okay. So uh, anybody, anybody who is preparing for Jasper, I'd say uh, he has to, he has to be, he has to be. I mean, uh, 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 give, give us, uh, give us extra time in those uh, topics. I mean, from tree and graphs. Okay. And uh, this is round two. And, and how after is the that, difficulty level for tree and graph is it medium, easy, or hard? Yes, yes. So the, the questions are moderate. I mean, uh, I, I'll read. I mean, they, they are in medium medium range not too hard not too easy so okay. anybody uh, who has a basic uh, basic knowledge of graphs and trees they're going to be able to pull up pull, pull up those questions in the in the in this time frame okay. and uh, after that uh, round 3 was organized also and okay. the round 3 are also same for us uh, three co three or two coding questions i don't remember much but the, those questions are also coming from the uh, tree and graphs okay and those questions are from medium range. I uh, again. Okay. And uh, now, uh, now the main 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 part is coming where most of the students are get eliminated in the in those rounds. So yeah. they after that they gonna uh, they gonna uh, organize uh, hackathon mm -hmm. as well as learnathon. So the hackathon for this HD intern role, and the learnathon is for the TPA intern role. 
so yeah. both the both the both the rounds are i mean uh, you the i mean the, the mix of ds algo as well as system design i mean not i did not say system design but uh, they going to test you like how good you are writing code i mean yeah. your oops knowledge i would say oops knowledge and your problem solving skills and your how good you are uh, i mean how quick you uh, adapt those uh, uh, the adapt those language i, I mean uh, so th- those things are being tested in those rounds hackathon and learnathon okay. so after that after hackathon they uh, have uh, they have a i mean uh, i mean another interview round where uh, okay. we have to participate participated in the slack slack and uh, i we have to demonstrate all the things we have we have covered during this hackathon and learnathon yes, and they they are asking they are asking questions from that i mean uh, okay. they they check if you do if you Mm, I, I mean, they check that uh, uh, you just put, you just do solve those questions by your own. So oh. they can ask any questions from the, from those uh, topics uh, which you are uh, which you are uh, doing in hackathon part. Okay. Uh, and the last round is like technical interview round, the final technical interview round, okay. uh, where uh, the where the I mean uh, where the questions were asked like from um, I mean basic OS DVMS. Like basic uh, computer fundamental things and like that. So in that coding, in that last round, they okay. just asking all these those questions. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like from like from our conversation, it's like it's mostly focused on the DSL code and computer fundamentals. Yes. 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 Totally. Okay. And has they have any separate like system design round, like low level design or high level design questions? Have they asked? No. 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 I mean, uh, don't uh, don't particularly low level or high level design round, but they are asking like uh, some fundamental. Uh, computer science uh, questions like uh, uh, what is cache uh, how do you okay. uh, the so those type of question i i i would not say those type of question is uh, fall under system design category but you so, can say the questions are covered basic questions are covered from um, uh, what i say basic questions are covered from basic fundamentals of cn and os thing okay. and you should have knowledge of those basic questions uh, before yes. you are giving the interview Okay, and have they asked question regarding on your college project? In have they asked any question? Yes, yes, yes. In the final interview, they can ask anything which you have mentioned in your CV. Uh, CV. Yeah. So uh, you should uh, you should be good. I mean, at least have some knowledge. Uh, you know, uh, what you are writing in CV, I mean, they yeah. can ask anything. At least you should have the basic idea which things I've written. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, oh, yes. What's your point? Like it mostly are mostly focused on DSL go, DSL go and computer fundamentals, and they can ask you question regarding your college projects also, whichever you have mentioned in the, your CV. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. So Abhijit, can you tell us is it like on campus opportunity for you or off campus opportunity? So as I said, I I applied uh, through D two C. So obviously this is an uh, this is an off campus opportunity for me, and uh, yes. Okay, and can you tell us what is G two C like? Many of us might be don't know yes. about. It. So can you tell us? So D two C is like uh, uh, it's like hiring platform where companies hire hire from there. I mean, like ha- Hacker Earth. Most of most of us know Hacker Earth. What yes. is they yes. Hacker Earth is co- Hacker Earth is uh, mostly coding. Co- they 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 don't organize contest, but they organized. Uh, uh, interview rounds and they organized interview hiring challenges for various companies. So D two C is one of those uh, hiring platforms. Okay, and the, its name is D two C. The platform name is D two C. They had to challenge. Ah, but D2, yes, it's D two C. They had to challenge. Okay, 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 great. So Abhijit, can you tell us what are the tech stacks available in Jasper? Yes, uh, as we know, Jasper is an exponentially growing startup. So. Uh, yeah. They work uh, uh, different various uh, new new cutting edge tech stack okay. for their projects, and uh, uh, and what uh, what uh, make Jasper different to all other startup is like Jasper is uh, working. Uh, I mean, Jasper is using a functional program functional programming concept, mm-hmm. so which makes makes their uh, products uh, very smooth, uh, very uh, I mean, very efficient and very uh, uh, f- fast. Uh, I, I'd say so. They are working like I mean, I mean, I mean different projects. I I I, I am not aware, aware all of of that, but yes, okay. they are working in all in all of sector. Okay, like all cutting edge technologies are available there. It depends on yes, the yes, team, yes. which team you are working. I guess. Yes. 
i mean they are right now in payment the payment domain so they are working uh, uh, if you if you go through go 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 to their website you, you can see they are working token tokenization system so they are working like in new uh, the, they are working like in new products inventing new products or just mm -hmm. like that okay like all kind of technologies are available there you depends on the team which team you are working by all time various cutting edge technologies already available there yes yes okay yeah, okay great so Avijit, can you tell us like those are students who appear upcoming interview in Jasper, how should they prepare? So uh, yeah, they uh, they should be I mean very good uh, good in DSLO data structure and algorithm. I mean uh, all the companies nowadays asking ask questions from there. Also, uh, if you if you do any projects, you have you have have a you should have a very clear idea about about that project. I mean they they can ask. Uh, some really interesting questions uh, uh, from those from those from, from your project and if uh, and you have to uh, and you have to be able to understand uh, i mean deliver all the answers what they are expecting from you uh, and apart from that you have also you have to also be very good in fundamental computer science uh, uh, for, uh, for fundamental computer science knowledge and uh, i mean like basic the uh, dbms os and uh, uh, I, I'd not say CN, but uh, yeah, it's good to have knowledge from there also. So yeah, those topics you should have at least covered up before you are thinking to go with just like it's like you should be good at DSL and computer fundamentals. Those things you should know. Yeah, I mean first yes, uh, this this sh should have your bucket list, but after that you can also work on your project. So this yes. three thing I would say you have to be you have to be good at it for just pay, clearing the just pay. Okay, got your point. So like Abhijit, can you tell us like what are the base resources available from where they should prepare like DSL go is computer fundamentals to subject? Uh, so to prepare DSL go, there are penalty of resources over uh, present already in the website, the internet. Okay. So they can go with, uh, if, if, if they wanted to strengthen their problem solving skills, they can go with code seven and code forces. Okay. And uh, if, if someone is interested in particularly focus on uh, coding questions, uh, they can go with obviously go with lead code and also uh, there is a uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean the bunch of questions present in Geeks portal also. They can read the all the articles from there. They they, they are very helpful for you. I mean for me also. And for uh, particularly for interview questions from DBMS, CN, and OS, so they can go with um, interview with. There is a structure a structure resources from there. Also, uh, for if you ask uh, what I prefer, um, I also uh, I also would uh, uh, add that uh, Stiver's video are very helpful from that. I mean, yeah. uh, I am from Jalpai Ram Engineering College, and uh, Raj Bhaiya is my super senior from there. So uh, I'd say I'd say his videos are very helpful for okay. anyone who is preparing for DSL. Okay. So uh, yes, I'd say I'd recommend that also. Okay. And for like computer fundamentals, they should prepare from which website, like uh, Geeks for Geeks? Yes, the computer fundamentals, they can go with Geeks for Geeks uh, or they can go with interview. They both have good quality of content. And details, explanation is there for all kind of interview questions already. Yes. And for like, and also they can go with uh, go go with the interview experiences also. Okay. They, these, those can also, also helpful for who can, who prepare for just a particular. Okay, okay. And for Java, is there any specific resources are available for Java? Uh, for Java, I don't know exactly because I have uh, I, uh, I I prepare I, I mean I use C plus plus as my pr primary language and also uh, prepare my oops uh, I mean oops from uh, interview with so I mm -hmm. don't know exactly what is the best resources for Java but you can find penalty of resources in Java in websites various websites yeah. so you can go with that also. Okay. Okay. And have you prepared in system design kind of question like low level design, high level design? Have you prepared those such? No, I mean uh, till now I haven't prepared for those questions okay. because uh, as a freshers, I uh, most of the companies are not uh, uh, don't ask the, from those areas. So okay. I'm so as a freshers, I'd say you you should primarily focus on your problem solving skills. And apart from you have to build a medium or basic kind of projects to describe. Okay. Yeah. And you should be good at computer fundamentals. Yes, 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 also. yes. Yeah. Like that is a detailed explanation from you. I guess it will be really helpful for upcoming students who have their interview in product based companies. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. 
once again abhijit thank you for coming to my youtube channel and share your interview experience hopefully it will really helpful for upcoming students who have their interview in just way and guys don't forget to like our channel share our channel subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for all the latest update once again abhi thank you for all your experience sharing thank you bhaiya thank you it was thank pleasure. you for inviting me yeah thank you thanks for your time